Hello from teacher Melissa and I want to talk to you today about the possibility of revising your bio in your VIP kid profile. If you haven't done it in a while and you've had a number of contracts, maybe it's time to refresh. If you're new and you got something up really quick so you could get uh, your bookings out there and start opening up some slots, maybe your time is come to fine tune that and make it a little bit better. Or maybe you've been with us a little while and your bookings aren't what you would like, or maybe they're zero. That happens. Then think about revising your bio and I've got some tips for you that have helped me. So first of all, I want to say this is how I do my bio. It works for me. I've got the bookings that I want and I have revised my bio a few times in the 160, 50 some days or so that I've been with VIP Kid. So this is what works for me, okay? Now, what I do see when I do coach individually occasionally, I've coached a few of my friends, help them with their profiles on VIP Kid. I notice that a lot of people have very generic bios. They just make it just kind of wimpy and generic, and that's what you need to avoid. You need to stand out in your bio, and the best way to do that is to be very specific. So what I want you to do is go to your bio, take a look at it, maybe copy and paste it into a Word document or a Google Docs, and just kind of revise and play around with it as you go. First thing I want you to change, I want you to get rid of all of those wimpy adverbs and adjectives. Don't just say, I have taught for many years. That means nothing. If you've taught for five years, say five. If it's been 10, if it's been 30, like me, however long it's been, give a specific number of years. Do not say, I have taught a wide age range of children. What, what does that mean? The parents looking in there for the, their age of their child. So use a number. I have taught ages four through 10 or six through 12, whatever, say the ages. If you, like me, like to specialize in certain levels, like I prefer the higher level students, my bio actually says I specialize in levels three through six. So get those numbers in there. Okay, number two, say what state you are living in and what state you got your university degree from, okay? If you wanna put the name of your university, that's fine. But if you say you have a degree from the University of Mount St. Joe, it, it means nothing. They have no idea where that is. These are Chinese parents and they most of them only know major states in the United States. So say at least that you got your degree. Now, I got mine from the University of Cincinnati, well-known uh, city in the United States, but not well-known outside of the United States. So I didn't even put University of Cincinnati. I just said I got my master's degree in Ohio. And that's not even a really well-known state. Honey, you are golden if you can say you live in or got your university degree from New York or California or Texas. So if you've got one of those, say it. But say your state. Even if you have to get rid of the name of your university, that's all in your big profile thing that's on record with VIP Kid. The parents want to know what state. It helps them personalize you a little bit if you give them the state. Okay? Now, let's get rid of something else that's wimpy. Tip number three. Do not be so generic. I taught in a school. What did you teach? Karate or something? That, that means nothing. Cooking? That means nothing. You have to be very specific. And here's the key words. English. Language skills. Reading skills. Proper pronunciation. Now you might be thinking, I didn't teach language arts. If you worked with children, you were teaching them reading skills. So say it. I taught reading skills to children ages four through seven. Anything like that that you can say. So be specific. English skills. Say reading. Say writing. Because those are the things that we teach in VIP Kid.
So whether you specifically, let's say you were a, a math teacher, you taught word problems, you taught children how to decipher word problems. Let's say you have a bachelor's degree and most of your teaching experience is maybe in a Sunday school or in an after school program and you don't have a teaching license. That's okay. You are teaching those children how to communicate through the English language. So we're not trying to fudge anything here. We're just trying to put it in language that a Chinese parent can understand that we are experts at English because we are Native American English speakers, not Native Americans, maybe some of you are, that speak English and work with children to help them speak English as well. So make sure you say English skills, throw in proper pronunciation, things like that if you like. Okay, now another thing, I don't know what, number, what am I on number five? I think I'm on number five. Okay, tip number five. Okay, condense your family stuff. I see a lot of people's profiles that say, I live with my husband and my kids. Well, of course you do. You don't need to say you live with them. Of course you live with them. On the weekends, we like to go way too much words for just the, you've, you've got a limited number of characters here. You've got to get the important stuff up at the top. And at the end, you can condense that. My husband and I like to go hiking. Keep it short and simple. You can add things if they have to do with kids, okay? So you might, you can add things like if you are a coach or something like that, that works with children. That's a great thing to add on. Uh, the personalized part, sometimes people place way too much emphasis on, say, look what a neat person I am. Hey, they're going to learn that you're a neat person once you get their child in your class. What they really want to know is, what kind of education do you have and have you worked with kids and what are you going to make my kid do? Because they're paying a lot of money for these classes. So you want to really show your worth in that way. Okay. Now, here's a little side bit information. What if a lot of your teaching experience or even some of it is working in a Sunday school in an after school program, you volunteered as a tutor. You don't need to say that you volunteered. You were very honest about all of that in your VIP kid application. So you need to use education speak to make those things sound a little bit more experience, a little bit more professional. So use words like a child development program would be a great thing if you worked at the Y or in, in Sunday school or something. Uh, a, a children's character development program is a perfect thing to say for school, uh, for Sunday school. Um, teaching at the homeschool co-op, all those different things that you've done. So try to turn it a little bit more into education speak for your bio. Okay, now here is the very last thing. You need to say thank you at the end of your bio. Uh, pretty standard thing that translates very well in Chinese is many thanks. I hope to see you in my classroom. Many thanks. I would love to help your child. Thank you so much. Say thank you at the end. I'll do another video later about how important the thank you is, but make sure you add it at that. So I thought you guys might like to see my bio. I've got mine pulled up here and I'll read it to you. I sound fabulous. Oh my gosh. You're going to want to plunk your money down and sign your child up for me. Maybe. Let's see what you think. Hello, I am teacher Melissa and I am so happy to meet you. I have a master's degree in education and hold a teacher certificate from the state of Ohio. I also have specialty teaching licenses in TESOL, language arts, and in gifted education. I've been teaching children for over 30 years and love to make learning challenging and rewarding for level three to six students. I have very high expectations for my students to help your child quickly improve their English speaking and reading skills. I am a running coach for a group of elementary school girls and like helping them learn how to lead healthy, balanced lives. Outside of school, I enjoy hiking adventures all over America. 
Let me help your child improve in their English skills. Many thanks. Hey, I live with my husband. I've got five kids. I've got four grandkids. I do lots of other stuff. They don't want to hear all that. They want to hear that I'm challenging. I give rewards. And most of all, I can help their child improve their English skills in speaking and reading. Be specific about what you're going to do for that child. So get on your bio, change it up, and then change it on the phone app. That's the easiest way to change the bio. And then my next suggestion is when it's all done, submit a ticket to Freshdesk and tell them, I just revised my bio with a new bio. Would you please ensure that it is translated again? Because sometimes you reload it in English and I, I don't know why, I've just heard that um, the translation for the Chinese-speaking parents doesn't always get translated right away. So get that done right away before the Sunday Night Frenzy and let me know how it goes for you. Many thanks.